Now, if you're up to 30 at least and you have all your teeth complete, raise your hands. Please, I'm serious. This is for you out there watching me. If you are 30 and you have your teeth, it's complete. Just raise it. Okay, those in the studio here, please. If your teeth is complete and you're above 30, let me see your hand. Ah, huh? That is you. <laughs> well, uh, due to some issues, I had to have my teeth taken out one. What we, no, it's not one, I think, at one particular point in time. But then today, we're talking tooth loss and replacement. Of, there was no replacement option for me there. They just took out the teeth and it just segue just felt very good. But who better to talk about this than Dr. Femi Adiria? Now, he's the CEO of Pell Dental Clinic right here in Lagos. It's great to have you. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having Doctor, me. Doctor, are your teeth complete? Uh, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see if it's just strange. I mean, because, you know, maybe due to poor dental health or poor dental hygiene and all no, of that. No, that's not where my teeth are not coming. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I'm talking about me. So that's what happened with you? Me. I, yeah, I had to have one teeth removed at one point in time. Okay. And it just went on. It didn't feel like anything happened, you know. But now we're talking about tooth loss and replacement it, options. Yes. You know. But, okay, maybe let's start up with uh, the causes and, you know, the, the most prevalent causes of tooth loss. Uh, excellent question. So, um, you know, going with the thing we've been talking about, you know, we spoke about preventable dental diseases, we spoke okay. about gum disease. Mm. So those two topics we spoke about before, take periodontitis, tooth decay, mm. um, and other systemic conditions, those things, if they're not managed properly, can lead to you losing your teeth. Now, mm. you have a hole in your tooth. Uh, you're afraid to see the dentist. You don't go to the dentist, and it gets worse and worse and worse. And the decay, the infection gets worse. The tooth goes bad. Mm. Eventually, the entire crown is gone, and it's, it's gone, just yeah. roots there. Uh, you go, finally go to the dentist, and you find that the infection has not only gone into the tooth, but into your jawbone as well. Wow. You've lost bone. You've lost tooth tissue. Yeah. You lose soft tissue, so you have to take out the teeth then. No, you know, I, 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 apart from that also, there might be some other issues, maybe uh, preventable accidents. I've seen where people had some yeah, accidents okay, and then so maybe it, 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 it broke their tooth and then they had to take it out. Because, yeah, so there's two you know, causes of tooth loss. Okay. Generally, that's just broadly two. There's infection and there's trauma. Okay. So the traumatic aspect is usually, it's most common. It's the most common cause, It's the most actually. common. Yes, okay. it's one of the most common causes. So we have uh, road traffic accidents, sports okay. injuries, and just children playing. Mm. And when that happens, there are ways to manage it, especially when it comes to the children. Now, um, when you lose your tooth, you, the tooth can either break at a level or come out completely, which is called um, complete avulsion. Okay. Now, when that happens, um, for children and some adults, there's something we can do to actually help to save that tooth. And it's not very common knowledge to a lot of parents or mm. teachers. So if a child has an injury or somebody has an injury, you find the tooth and it is whole, it is not broken. Do not touch the root. Mm. Hold the tooth by the crown, rinse it up with clean water and try and insert it back into the socket the way it is and have the person bite on cotton wool or gauze until they get to a dentist. It gives the tooth a greater chance of being saved. Wow. Yes, it's very possible. So I've, I've done that a couple of times for some patients, especially children. And because children are so hardy and they heal so fast, the tooth stays until, you know, it's time for it to exfoliate. Wow. Not many people know this. No. I've never come across this. Out. But, but there's something you mentioned. You said hold it by the crown. Don't hold it by you the Don't by touch the... the root. Why? 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 But How? because your hand is in sterile. Okay. So you want that part that goes into the gum. You don't want anything to contact it. Now, eventually you're unable to put that tooth back in the back socket in the properly. Socket. Yes. You're advised to either, you know, store it, put the, let the person put it in their cheek, under their tongue, and get to a dentist, or you can put it in a glass of milk. Milk, and, not yes, milk, water. Not water, milk, and get to your dentist. And the dentist oh. can now insert it properly. But all this must happen under an hour, hmm. preferably within 30 minutes. Okay. So if you're or a healthcare professional, okay. at least some of them should know. What to do. What to do, yeah. All right, wonderful. So let's go straight to replacement options. Uh, trauma, infections, the tooth is out. Yes. Right? Uh, replacement, I, ne I never knew so much about replacement options because I just took the tooth out and everything continued for a while. I felt it, but then mm -hmm. growing up, everything now feels so normal. But we have replacement options. Yes, What, what are the ones that are available uh, to, 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 
Well, to right us. now, today, thank, thank, well, thanks to technology, you know, um, every form of replacement option is available. Um, but I am going to divide it into two categories. There is the removable replacement option mm. and the fixed replacement option. Mm. Now, the removable rep replacement option is the most commonly known one, which is the denture. Okay. And the denture is like um, a thermoplastic material that is formed to replace the gum and then there are acrylic teeth fitted in it. Okay. So it could be uh, partial or complete. Basically, it could be replacing the entire teeth in your mouth, the entire mm -hmm. tube of dentition, or a few teeth at a time, uh, even in different parts of your mouth. You can have that. Mm. That is for the removable replacement option. Now, the mm -hmm. fixed replacement options are the ones that a lot of people are interested in. You have uh, the bridge, a dental bridge, okay. which is a prosthesis that spans. So you have, like a bridge does, it connects one part of uh, an area to the other to side. To the other side. So that space in between those sides is what the dental bridge replaces. So okay. the crown that is missing there is replaced by that bridge. Okay, okay, but I, so looking at these options now, accessibility when it comes to cost and all of that. Oh, I'm not done with replacing the okay, options. Okay, 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 let's there's, go. Let's there's go. Still, and then there's the option of the dental implant, okay, which okay. actually replaces the root of the tooth. Oh. Now, the bridge doesn't replace that. The bridge just replaces the crown. That's the aesthetic portion, the part mm. that you see. Mm. But for function, the bridge works just as well. Okay. It's just that... The teeth that are the abutments for the bridge are compromised in that you have to trim them or shave them as for, you know, common understanding. Yes. And then fit them with ab abutments, the abutments, and you fit the crowns on them. So the crown spans from one end to the to other. To the other. Now, okay. the implant only replaces that particular tooth. Okay. The implant can be used in a bridge as well if the span is too wide for a, for a regular... Bridge, okay. like more than a five unit bridge or six unit bridge, okay. you might want to have one or two implants in between. So the dental implant replaces, replaces the roots and then the crown sits on top of it. And that for me is the go to mm. form of replacing your tooth. Mm. Um, it's also the priciest. It's the price, yes. Yes, it's yeah. the price, yes. Mm. But it, it's, it's, um, it doesn't compromise any other tooth. And on the long term, okay. it is cheaper. It's the most, okay, in the long on term. On the long term, it is you cheaper. Don't want, if, you, if you think about replacement, you might have to go back off. Yes. To so check on, it out. On the long term, it's the cheapest. Mm. So uh, aside from, you know, patient selection matters. Okay. Uh, you look at the patient, how, what can they afford and what is best yes. for them. What is best for so, them. So... Uh, you have to find that balance. Yes, you have to find that balance. And you have to be very, very sensitive about it because, you know, yeah. it's, it's a touchy subject. Okay, subject. it is. What, 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 what of a situation where the tooth is broken? And, you know, there's a part of the tooth, uh, you, know, uh, you know, because there's been that debate, do I take it out? Do I, I have a friend. In fact, this year, my friend, over last month or so, I think he, the, the tooth was broken and then they, had to, they went to do some procedure. They didn't take it out. After two or three of those procedures, he had to now take it out because the pain, I don't know, it wasn't, um, it didn't suffice, it, 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 it didn't take off the pain. So after having two or three procedures, he now had to take the tooth out. And then he was like, why didn't I take it out from the beginning? Well, um, that has happened. It will always happen. Okay. Uh, the aim, the job of the dentist is to try and keep your natural teeth in your mouth. In your mouth, For okay. as long as possible. Okay. So it is, um, it is the go-to mindset mm. for all of us because who wouldn't like to have their own natural organic uh, part of their body in, their mind, in, the, in them in them yes oh, okay. so when you start the treatment if you, you there are risk factors and you have to be mm. able to identify those risk factors and explain to the patient to the as patients. well okay. so when the patient has all the information that they require to make an informed, informed decision, decision then you can they can go ahead so if they go with that option and you know say okay yes let's try and save it and you try and save it, it doesn't work out. At least the patient knows that, look, we tried. Um, if we have to take it out, then we take it out. Then we take it out. And then, you okay. know, you can look this, at replacement uh, options. This is not so related to the topic, but uh, I just wanted to ask you, mouthwash. Yes. We have a lot of mouthwash. How, is it something that we, uh, is, it, is it recommended? By? By you. By, by dentists. What is a mouthwash? That? Mouthwash. So we see the very popular ones that we see, and they have this thing in, the normal mouthwashes that we can get at maybe a pharmacy or a store and all that, those mouthwashes, the ones okay. that sting and all of that, are the they branded recommended? Ones, right? The branded ones and all of that. Are well, they recommended? Do they, do they really play a part? Is it okay to use them? Yes, it's okay, okay to use them. 
Mm. But there are some people who, there are some mouthwashes that some people will not be able to use or it will make their condition worse. So people, okay. let's just put this, this mouthwash that is alcoholic, that contains alcohol, okay. and that that doesn't contain alcohol. Okay. Now, the one that contains alcohol tends to dry out the mouth. Mm. Now, people who have a condition called xerostomia, which is dry mm. mouth, that isn't good for them. Okay. So they need something that will not dry their mouth out. So there is, the, amongst the branded mouthwashes, there, is, there are those that contain alcohol and don't contain alcohol. Some of the popular ones do. And that's what I do. I, I usually recommend the one that doesn't contain alcohol. Contain alcohol. Yes, to, okay. to my patients. Wonderful. I like this. But there's also um, antiseptic mouthwashes for certain conditions, like gum okay. disease and all of that, that we recommend as well. But that is not for continuous use. It's for a use period within a finite time. period. Yes, and after that... I like this. Right. What you're saying at the end is that it's more important that you're diagnosed by a professional. Yes, it and is then you essential. Get a recommendation. That's, yes. So you don't just go up to the shelf and just pick and anything, just pick and, anything and, and start your using. Mouth. No, no. Okay. No, that's right. That's, that's right. it. That's a key point. Thank you, doctor. All right, thank uh, you. It was great having you.